What is up everyone and welcome back. And today we've got a bag of 10 pences and the main aim of this hunt is to find out if these are actually worth doing on the channel. So I've got two bags, we're gonna do two videos and see what we come up with and we'll decide whether to do the 10p hunts going forward. Um, but the real reason we're doing this is because I couldn't get any 50ps this week. We've only been able to get to the bank later in the day on a Saturday because we've got puppy training classes so that's kind of uh, scuppered our 50ps this week but we'll see what we can get midweek we've got a couple of 10p bags to start off with some loose ones but obviously pretty tough to find anything in these at all so We'll get right into it, and these hunts do tend to take a while. But we'll see, you never know, we might find something, territories or foreign coin or something. I do have quite a few A to Z 10 pences, so maybe we'll do video showing my collection of those. I actually got really lucky from the post office when the 2019s came out and I got a few hundred to be honest over a couple of runs there. Weren't full sealed bags but they were mixed in. But yeah, we're gonna see if I can go in midweek and uh, See if the bank has got anything we can have. I know 10p's aren't the most exciting to hunt through. It's pretty barren for the most part, but it's the first time we've done it on the channel, so we'll give it a go, see what we can find. And personally, with the 10p's, I don't think any of the mintages on just the Definitive designs are rare enough to be keeping. But yeah, I did wonder about putting this video up at all. Maybe it won't go up, to be honest, if we don't find anything at all. Nobody wants to sit through 15, 20 minutes of a video and find absolutely nothing. Especially soon as I'm not adept at editing the videos properly, speeding them up and all that. So we've got a few things I can prattle on about for a little while. Filming this on Sunday. Obviously Brexit was on Friday. And I managed to make it down to the Mint and back in time for a night shift. On Friday night, so I got my Strike Your Own with a dated package in. I have to be honest though, the tour was a bit, a bit naff, and I feel sorry for anyone who that was their first time down there. If that was their only experience of it, I doubt they'll be going back um, because for nearly double the price of a normal tour, it just totally wasn't worth it, you know. 15 minute slots, it was just all about getting you through as quickly as possible, really. And I'm sure they said something about having never before seen items or something like that, and I didn't see anything new there, apart from a couple of stand-up posters with pictures of the uh, four 50Ps related to the EU or the EEC on them. But let me know in the comments, do you find many 10Ps? I bet you don't. It's so hard to find these alphabets. And speaking of the Royal Mint, they didn't even have any in the tills there on Friday. I mean, the counter was busy enough without people trying to cream 10Ps out of the tills, to be honest. It would have been absolutely carnage if they had 10Ps in the till as well.
Yeah, it was, traffic was horrible as well on the way down to me. Nearly five hours to get down there, and it's only a kind of a three hour drive max for me, usually. Coming back was all right, because my tour was at quarter past eight, and then obviously the traffic was long gone by then. down to the mint again on the 7th of March. It's going to be a busy day down there on the 7th of March, I tell you. Lots of people going. If you're around, get down there. Get booked in sooner rather than later though because tours are already selling out now for that date. Well, so far the answer to our question is no, it's not worth it because we have found nothing, absolutely nothing. It's going to take us a while to get through them as well, so I do not blame you if you are skipping ahead. I do not blame you particularly if you didn't even click on the video because although I'm an avid viewer of all the other coin tubers, um, if I have to skip a video, it'll be a 10 pence video, if I'm honest, because you just don't find anything that often, do you? It's pretty desperate, to be honest. <laughs> um, but we keep going, you know? We're we're positive, we're positive on this channel. That's all it takes, a bit of positivity. You never know what we might find. That's the other thing with the 10 P's, there's nothing really like the Holy Grail, you know, like the Kew Gardens or the 50 P's or like that Northern Ireland. I mean, what is the Holy Grail? Like a, something from a, an obscure territory, maybe? A nice St. Helena find or something like that? Or an Alphabet B, which seems to be. The most scarce. So yeah, 7th of March, we're down there. We're staying over as well, so if you can't make it on the Saturday, get booked in for the Sunday morning. talk about the Brexit coin I guess the 50 pence apparently that was in the tills on the Saturday after Brexit day at Royal Mint I missed that I didn't stay over this time I had to get back from the night shift as I said To be honest, our odds of finding something are even lower in my opinion because uh, they're all bagged bags through the cash centre. I think the chances of getting anything like a foreign coin greatly reduced for a start. Brexit strike your own, had a special packaging for the one day and now it's going to be, the last day is the 11th of February and then from then on it's going to be the VE day £2, the new one. So I'm thinking it's probably going to still be that by the time we get down there in March. It's going to be less than a month from when it changes, I can't see them changing it again after having this one for only two weeks, but you never know. <laughs> I'm not disappointed with that, if I'm honest. I was kind of expecting a something boring, a Britannia or so, something like that. Which is not boring, boring, but we'd prefer a commemorative, of course. Uh, 
And if you're still watching me rambling on while finding nothing, appreciate it. Don't forget to go and join um, the draw for the giveaway. Which is a few videos back now. And my coin tube and buddy Fungal Collects Coins, he's got a a giveaway going as well and that one is a, a must enter really that one where you can win yourself uh, one of those brexit strike your owns oh this is not looking good guys i wonder if this is a quicker way to look for a more Nothing there. And as I said guys, I don't blame you for uh, skipping through. We're finding nothing. Just, just one little one little nice find would be nice, but I mean, if we don't find anything, and especially in these two bags, I've got another one of these to do as well, then I guess we can say it's, it's probably not worth to keep doing them anymore. At least until we think there might be more coming out, but I can't see it to be honest. I think we're done with the alphabets now. I don't see any more coming this year. I might be wrong. I'm sure we probably would have heard about it by now. I'm just finding territories and stuff now. It's so much more difficult. Well, I was doing hunts quite a bit on 10Ps when when they were more around, you know, before we were doing videos, though. And you'd at least find some 10Ps fairly regularly, you know. You'd find a few of the Jersey common ones or the old tomato plant or something, you know. But... So difficult to find anything that's not the norm now. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Do let me know if you're going to be down at the Mint on the 7th. I know there's at least a few dozen people I know that are going to be there, I think. Some I've met before, some I haven't. So it should be a good day. I'm on the 1 o'clock tour, which is completely booked out at this point. I'm hoping to be down there a bit before, half eleven maybe. I'll definitely be floating around for a couple of hours afterwards. Guess what guys, nothing in that one. What a surprise. I think we've got our answer about whether these are worth hunting. And that's not any shade on anybody who's hunting them at all, guys. Like, keep going. I'm, you maybe have better luck than I do, but these were just so scarce when they were released, and the way they were released was not ideal, was it? Evo, you know, sealed bags of the same coin. So many were snapped up by the same person. 
and they've been traded around. People who've got bulk of one letter are trading for the other letter. letter. Which is, I'll admit, I've done a bit of that, so I've got quite a few now, to be honest. Which is maybe another reason why I don't enjoy hunting these as much. There's obviously not the variety, there's not that marquee star find you can get. Well, you get a hunt where you find a few of them, it's pretty good, yeah, but nothing that compares to finding like a Northern Ireland or Kew Gardens or, you know. But we've got a few bags left. Let's keep going. And if you are still watching, please skip. <laughs> Get to the end, see if we find anything. I bet we don't. I don't want to put anyone through this torture anymore. It's bad enough having to do it myself without subjecting you guys to it. Please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> it doesn't help that like, I'm not able to speed. I say not, e not able, I not learn how to speed up the videos. I'm sure it's probably not rocket science, but come on, just give us one. Give us one. Give us hope for the second bag. We might not even do this second bag at this point, honestly. Or if I film it and it's a bust again, then. I won't put two 10p busts up, that's ridiculous. So if you don't see a second video on 10p's, because there was nothing in that one either. But I'm gonna jump on the bus, because me and the better half I only have the one car and she uses it midweek during the day. And I'm going to go into the local town and see what I can rustle up midweek for us. So we've got something decent for the channel because we're on to touch a high at the minute actually. And rolling, picking up subscribers and watch time is good. You know, people like the videos. I'm going to try and keep that going if we can. With a new puppy as well, it's, it can be difficult. I'm on night shift, so I've got to sleep as well. But woe is me, get a tiny violin out and all that. That's a bit of a weak strike there, but it's just my eyes wanting to see something. One more bag after this one. Wow. I thought it might be bad, but I didn't realise we would find absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Sure, nobody in their right mind is still watching. <laughs> but thanks for skipping through and seeing that we found nothing, of course, as predicted. And if we don't see another video on the 10Ps in the next few days, because that one was a bust as well, so I won't put that one up if that's a bust. But if you're still watching or you skipped through, I still appreciate you clicking onto the channel. And I'll see you next time. See ya.